Okay, Milind, hang on. I also reached out to Trinamool MP Derek O'Brien, who is member of the Standing Committee that's looking into the issue of net neutrality earlier today. He is, of course, a member of that parliamentary panel. I started by asking him how he felt about this report, whether he thinks it's an improvement over the TRAI consultation paper, which he saw as being draconian. Let's listen in. This is for the telecom, by the telecom, of the telecom and this fight against net neutrality. See, we I don't have a we don't have a problem with telecom companies. May their tribe increase. Okay. But the freedom which millions of netizens have of the right to choose, please Shireen, don't restrict your debate only to the telephone, only to the calls, because there are other issues also mentioned in this report. But the television channel is a nice place for us to go and make a few opening comments and thank you for having me on your show. But this right. debate has to go to the ultimate platform in this nation, and that is Parliament. No, no, but let's oh, yeah, talk about specific, about specific, Derek. Let's, there's a, let's talk, I am talking let's talk about, about specific. specific. Let's report. talk about specifics, there's, because as you point out, as you point out, voice calls so, is only one aspect of this report. But let's talk about why zero rating be, platforms, for instance, because once again, the DOT panel says that <laughs> it has to be dealt with on Shireen. a case-by-case case basis. And, and, and the DOT panel also goes on to say, which is a disadvantage to telecom companies, that telecom companies will have to submit their tariff plans to the regulator before they can go ahead with their new tariff plans, which is not the case today. So I'm asking you to point out in what areas you believe that the DOT panel has failed telecom companies. I am not going to uh, uh, deal all my cards out on uh, CNBC evening television program. I will give you my broad uh, views now. Firstly, let me, the first question you raised, the first question you raised was on case-to-case -case basis on, uh, on um, the zero rating. What case-to-case -case basis on zero rating? What does case-to-case -case basis mean? Case-to-case -case basis, if you paraphrase case-to-case -case basis, it means how to fix the system better. So this is totally bakwas. Why should we discretion be allowed here in the first place? Why should it be allowed here? You please tell me. And please understand, it is not the business of parliament or a mem or any member of parliament to ensure that the telecom companies have a good year at the end of one year or two years they are responsible to the shareholders of those companies good luck to them but i would also like to tell you that all these telecom companies right whether it be bharti whether it be vodafone whether it be uh, reliance whether it be uh, this idea if you look at some of those speeches all these people have made and I've got here because I can't remember all of what they said they're all talking about a two-fold jump in and I, this right. is not Derek O'Brien and Trinamool Congress making it up you please look at all those uh, earnings and review statements which have been issued by their managing directors or their joint managing director Shireen you please look at those statements I've got those statements uh, in the public domain, they are from the AGMs. Right. Uh, Airtel talks about a twofold jump in consolidated profit. They talk about no evidence that suggests there is cannibalization. No, no, so these where, companies I'm, I'm, are all doing I'm, very I'm well. Not, I'm these not companies going down are all road. doing very well and good. But if they cannot compete with technology, you're killing the technology. If you want WhatsApp to do okay. something, no, no, no. So this is not going to work. I can tell you, this is not the end of the battle. I agree this with you. This is not the end of the battle. There are many, many points here, case to case, point by point. It will also not be correct on my part to talk too much on television mm -hmm. because there are two other forums which I have an opportunity to speak. One is Parliament and two is this is also being discussed in the parliamentary standing committee and I cannot discuss anything yeah. which happens in the parliamentary standing committee here on your channel except for one thing there again this net yeah please go ahead sorry fair enough fair, fair. no go ahead yes you want to say yeah go ahead no, no. Uh, I understand that you cannot discuss what is going to be uh, discussed in the parliamentary panel, uh, Derek. But very quickly, uh, the, the government has now said, and Ravi Shankar Prasad, the telecom minister, has said that the matter will be decided post the TRAI's recommendations. The TRAI is headless at this point in time. Given the sensitive nature of this issue, do you really believe that perhaps the government is not going to want to bite this bullet and let I this lie know. low for now? I am mean, not the spokesperson of the government. Nor do I want to be, nor am I the minister. All I can tell you is that I am also con let me let me tell you something. What's your I have sense, Derek? This. We have this 
the Trinamool Congress, we do not want to take the brownie points on this. We have discussed this with other parties. My people in the Congress who have discussed this with, they are very serious about this. They want to take this forward. There are one or two other parties also who want to take this forward. So I don't want to make this an issue, which is Trinamool Congress versus the rest. No, I believe that in the larger interest of 20 million, million people who use the internet in India, or whatever that number is, those young people, that freedom should be maintained. Well, that was Derek O'Brien in conversation with...